Hi everyone. I wanted to show you how to create a uh, NAS drive or network attached storage drive on your local area network really simply, quickly and uh, quite cheaply. Uh, NAS drives are quite expensive if you buy a dedicated one. It can cost hundreds and in some cases uh, thousands of pounds. Um, you definitely, in my opinion, need a NAS drive these days. Uh, so you can centrally store all your important documents, uh, videos, photos, and then share them easily across all of your um, devices on your network. So this is how to do it on an Asus router. So this is my Asus router. This is an RT-AX88U. Most Asus routers have a, a USB uh, slot on them. So uh, on this one in particular, if I show you the rear image, you can see here at the back on the left, there's a USB slot. So all you need to do uh, is get a, a USB drive uh, as, as big as you want and uh, format that on your laptop or your PC uh, to N, uh, NTFS. And once you've done that, plug that in the router and then head over to your router so that we can configure that as a, a shared network drive. So let's get going. So first thing to do is head over to your router by typing the uh, IP address. In my case, 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Once you're there, enter your login details. Once you're in, uh, look on the left hand side on the menu, scroll down to where it says USB application and click that. Once you're in, the service you want to select is the servers center and click on that. Once you're in, you'll see some tabs at the top, media server, network place, NFS exports and FTP share. You want to select network place. Here you can see on mine, uh, I've already enabled um, the network share. Uh, which is you can see is clicked on. I've also allowed guest login. So if you've got those both enabled, first of all, that will expose the USB drive that you've just plugged in to the network. And guest login means they will anybody that browses to that drive will not need to enter a, a username or password. A few other things that you can change. So you can also control the number of people that are logged in at the same time. To the network drive so you can control the traffic the default is five i've just left left that as five the device name you can give that a name i've just called mine home cloud so that will be the name of the drive that will be attached to the work group and then you can also uh, change which version of the samba protocol i've selected both so it's compatible with with anything on my uh, on my home network and then you would just click apply here so once you've done that uh, the uh, settings will be uh, created and then you can access that shared drive or NAS drive, if you want to call it that, uh, just using a, a normal file, file browser. So if I go to a file browser, you can just uh, check. So the way to browse to that is just by entering um, uh, the IP address of your router. So first of all, uh, do uh, backslash, backslash, and then the IP address, in my case, 192.168.1.1, and hit enter. And then you can see the home drive folder that I've just created. So if you click on that, these are the subfolders that I created earlier, but you can see now that that is a network drive. Anybody attached to your network will be able to uh, access the files in there, upload files, download files, etc. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you like these videos, please, if you can, uh, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, perhaps hit the notification button so you see new videos uh, as I upload them. I'll see you in the next one.